What is up guys? Welcome back to another great episode of Bront. And today we're going to be playing Black Rose, another indie horror game, first person that is, with great graphics and an interesting ass story. Okay, so we are Linda, and we are going to a mental facility that everybody has been suspected to be murdered, but by who? Alright, so here we go guys. Let's press play. Uh, time mode, story mode. In this mode, you follow the investigation of a mortician. In this mode, you are being timed on the quickly finish the game. Alright, so we're just gonna do story mode. I can't be rushed on this. This seems to be a good playthrough. We need to understand the story without just being shoved right through the game. But, well, I mean, it really does look interesting. It looks well put together. I mean, look at this. Look at all this. This must be the mental hospital. Hello? Is there any crazy people here? I could, I could use the company. I know you might have great stories for me or something. <laughs> okay, so, is there anything in the fireplace? Can we duck? Can we do anything? Can we crouch? No? No? Okay, I, I guess I just won't try that. Um, visitation room. The door is locked. I guess they were pretty serious about keeping this door shut. I wonder if the keys are around here somewhere. Me too, lady. And we know they are because they are always around somewhere. Oh shit, so we can open that door. Brilliant, brilliant. Okay, what about what about this one? Okay, that door is locked as well. But is there anything under the stairs? I'm not seeing anything yet. We'll go up these stairs. See if we can't find some damn keys. What the hell is that? Is someone else here? Hello? Please, please leave me alone. I'm an old man. I don't know what to do anymore. <laughs> this door is this door is warped pretty badly. I don't think it'll be able to open. Son of a bitch. Oh, damn it. Quit. Quit. Quit clicking that. All right, go over here. Maybe open up this door. Let's see what's going on in this room. Hello, key. My key, Lee, buddy. No? Nowhere to be found? Nowhere to be found? What about this room? All right, contestant number three. We got a tour for you. <laughs> All right, so I'm pretty sure this will just bring us back to the same spot. Maybe not. Restricted area authorized personnel only. Um, pain and suffering warp their bodies. How? How and why? Okay, so obviously I need a code for that. I don't think we're supposed to be there yet. Alright, so this is the first room. Alright, so climb back up the stairs. And we'll keep on heading to the area that we needed to be at. We'll move over here. Then we'll move down here. Oh, a note. A note. What could you say? Boss is not to... Boss is not to near the Myrtle Coffin. Why won't... Or why won't the Gravedigger bury it anyways? It's not like what the boss says is true. I mean, the dead can't really talk, can they? I'm gonna take it they can in this game. I mean, your life is a game. You do know that, right? Blue is fucking mine! What about on these little boards? Nothing? Still nothing? Okay, we'll keep going. Uh, it's jammed, but I might be able to force it open. I would need to ram it a couple times. Press, press and hold space. How? Alright, come on, Dory. You should be open by now. Yeah, buddy! That's kinda cool. I haven't seen that in any of these game Joel horror games yet, so that's kinda interesting. What about this phone? There's a baby monitor here. Strange. You're not a phone. You're a baby monitor. <laughs> Alright, so open this. Come on, man. Come on. You're just gonna leave me hanging like that? Really? Really? That's what you're gonna do? Alright, so can I bust through this one, maybe? I mean, no? 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 Why not? Okay, so maybe we gotta go back to the previous door that said it was warped and that we couldn't open. I think there was another one, right? Right? I mean, I mean, right? No, they can't talk. Yes, they can't talk. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, shit. No, don't make me go downstairs, please. <laughs> Who was that? I don't know, man. Do we really need to figure it out? Like, do we have to? Do we have to? <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna head down the stairs whether this thing wants us to or not. Shit, was that door open before? I honestly don't remember. Yes, it was. Okay, so this was the locked room. I guess they were pretty... Oh, damn it. We No, we still haven't found any keys. Son of a bitch. Okay, so we'll go this way. And maybe this door can open now. It does, and I don't want to go down this friggin' dungeon. Are you kidding me? Look at this. Oh, something bad's gonna happen, and I fucking know it. Okay, keep going this way. Keep walking. Keep... Oh, shit. We can't go that way. Hello? Hello? Is, any, is anybody here? Okay, so we just need to remember, we've been continuing to go straight. 
and we've only really had a few turns, so here we go. Um, her eyes do not look at her in the eyes. Okay, so obviously we need the run. Oh shit. The other baby monitor's down here. This is weird. I'm not sure I want to hear anymore. Something feels wrong. Like what? Can we open this shit? Okay, grab this one. Can I... Am I not supposed to get that? Hello? Am I supposed to open the hatch? Alright, come on. Am I supposed to grab this or not? I take it... I take it not. Okay, we're gonna get the hell on out of here. We're gonna go through the other turn. Going this way. But... It shouldn't... Yeah, this is a different way, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, so we'll go this way. But it might just take me in the same spots. I can't quite tell. Why not? What? No! Go away! Go away! I'm gonna go check it one more time, and if you're not there, that means that it is time to leave. <laughs> Do not look at her in her eyes. Yes, I know. Okay, so we definitely need to leave. I'm. Since when are we taking that chick's advice? I mean, seriously. Since never, that's when. <laughs> Alright, come on, go back upstairs. Please tell me there's another. Oh my goodness, what's going on here? What's going on? Hello? Is there anybody here? Fuck, no. Oh! God, no! No, get out of there! Go, go, go! Go! I, I lost control of the W button. Oh, shit. What the hell was that? Open this... Open this door! Open this door! <laughs> I can't get out. There is no escape. <laughs> um... Uh, how is this door locked? I know it wasn't earlier. Oh shit, quit trying to read that, damn it. Um, keep on running, man. We're gonna make it out alive. We will, and we shall. Can I not look at that again? Okay, we can't look at that again. So we need to go this way, maybe. I could be totally wrong. Son of a bitch, that door's still locked. Can't I just budge it open? No. All right, head back. Go. All right, guys, things are getting real tense here. Why can't I open that door? It has to be this room. I mean, I don't know the code, but the chapel. Oh, no, 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 no. No! Go away! Holy shit! Oh! Fuck! Did I die? Game over? Oh, no! Why does the game over? Why right there? Alright, we're gonna try this one more time. I will meet you where we finally left off. Okay, guys, we're right back in. Right after the scary part. <laughs> Alright, so this door wasn't locked earlier. Yes, we know. I believe we need to go to the chapel. I know that's where we died the last time. But I'm pretty sure this is it. Okay, she's right there. She's right there! Leave me alone, lady! Leave me alone! Okay, so that's not for opening, obviously. Um, uh, hello? Please go away, lady. Just leave it. Oh, God! She's right there. Go, 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 go. Oh, come on. There's got to be something in here we got to grab, though. I just don't know what it is. Is it over here? No. This is a dead end. This was a terrible idea. And we are just going to leave now. God damn. God damn. Uh, this door is pretty warped, but badly. I don't think I'll be able to open it. What do you mean you don't think you? How come we could burst through the other door? But we can't burst through that door. Now that don't make too much sense, but all right. We'll just go here. We open the... Oh man. Come on, brother. Just just let us open it. There's gotta be something in this place that we need. Okay, yep, we've been through there. We've been through here. We've been through it all. Wait, so now is she gone? Can I get in her coffin? Oh shit, there's a key right there. Yeah, there's a shiny key in this coffin. Hell yeah, brother. Alright, so go over here, and let's- I bet it unlocks the chapel, but I'm not entirely sure. Shit! Lady, leave me alone! I'm not your friend! We will never be friends! <laughs> leave! I don't- which way? This way? It has to be this way. Shit, 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 shit. No, 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 she is right there. Shit, no, no! Right after I get it all. Oh, okay, guys. I'm gonna go get the key again, and I'll meet you there. Alright guys, now we can go grab the key, but I think she literally just rose up, because I just speed run right through all that, but um, yeah, hopefully we can get out here without dying again, because this will be our third run, 
Even though I... Oh, damn it. She hasn't even left yet. Okay, so we gotta go back up. We gotta hit that trigger so she'll finally leave the coffin. So we can get the key, go to the altar, open the chest. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff to be done here. Okay, so here she is. No, 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 no. Is she still right there? Okay, she is gone. So let's just, let's just head back. All right, that woman, where did she go? I don't know, man. Hopefully not back in her coffin, because that is where we are headed. All right, so head over here. Keep going this way. Turn this way. Here's the no. Shit, it's still not open. Why? All right, come on. Keep walking up here. And we're going to go back upstairs. Leave me alone, Spectre. I don't deserve this treatment. Leave me alone. God, where did she go? Uh, is she gone for good now? All right, all right, all right. What does this say, though? Um, they stitched him back together. Oh, Jesus, she's right there. No, 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 no. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Okay. Where is she? Is she behind the door? Please don't tell me she just sits right by the door. Okay, now run. Run, my friend. Back down to the basement. So we finally grabbed that damn key. All right, leave me alone, lady. We've seen you. You got your point, all right? We know you're here. We, you need attention? Is that what you need? Too bad, too bad. We got other things going on. We need to find keys, man. Keys. That's all my life consists of is finding these keys. There's a shiny key in the coffin. Hell yeah. Hopefully this lady won't fucking spawn right in front of me, though. Um, keep going. I don't know where you are, lady. <laughs> uh, is it this door that it opens? It is not that door. Okay, go back down to the chapel, I believe, so we can open up the coffin. That's the only thing. Oh, God, she's right there. Okay, all right. <laughs> Maybe it's this door over here. This door is also locked, so I guess we'll go check out this one. Keep going, keep going. Let me unlock you, bruh. Let me unlock you. Oh! Oh no! 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 Ah! God, I can't beat this. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, one more time, we'll go get the key. And I will show you guys right where we're at the coffin. Every time we get a little bit closer. Oh my god, guys, I literally just ran right past her. Oh my god, I cannot believe we're alive. Open this damn thing already. Uh, maybe she needs to go away first. I don't even know. Can I really not open this yet? Go! Leave me alone, Spectre! Finally, I get to where we're supposed to be at, and now I can't even do it because this lady won't leave me the hell alone. I get it. We don't need you though no more. There we go. Um, the only way to keep Myrtle in her coffin for good is to lock it. I thought I had locked it before, but somebody else must have unlocked it. Either that or the lid was forced open. But who would have forced the lid open? I don't get it. Um, there's a key in here labeled Myrtle. All right, so we got to bring this down to the cellar then and lock your coffin? What about all the other doors that we're missing here? Um, oh yeah, we can't get that open. We are very aware. We are very aware of that. Can I at least open this door yet? No, the door is locked. I, I don't know why. Okay, so obviously that is not for that door. But hopefully now we can lock this little creepy ghost girl's coffin. And after that little montage of making it all the way through the game again, <laughs> it has been quite fun. All right, so now we go over here. Lock this thing. Is she is she in there? I should probably do what the note said. I need to lock this thing. But bam, it's locked. A silver key fell out from inside the coffin. It's labeled V Room One. Awesome. Okay, so what? No, 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 no. What the hell? God, that is so creepy. I hate it. Oh, go, 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 go. Uh, damn it, it's it's jammed. Oh shit. Oh yeah, we gotta do this. Go, go. Ugh. Let me through, go, before she gets in here. I know she's right behind us. All right, keep on going, buddy. No, 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 no. Tell us we made it out alive. 
please, that can't be game over. Thank God, Jesus. I'm not asking you to, pe er, to speak to me, but I made something for you today. It just, I thought about going up and picking you from the prettiest flowers. I could find that decided not to. The flowers are beautiful, not eventually they will die. Instead, I made you an origami paper, or an origami rose. Paper will never wither. And just like you, for, or just like my love for you, this, er, this rose is black because of the love once shared is gone. It was lost in the darkness and there is no ignoring er, ignoring that however even if this love is no longer mutual there is still one side that will never die this rose is that is our own symbol wow so is this like the story of myrtle then are you telling me what's gonna yes what oh shit okay we got Ever another since note my first day working here I voice act strange. hell yeah guys now, after what happened that day, things seemed to be getting even stranger. I'd even go so far as to say creepy. I've been an embalmer for years now, and I'm very passionate about my job. What? I've always felt comfortable with what I do, so it's pretty unusual that I feel this way. Two of my colleagues have died. I had to embalm them both. However, grief can't explain this feeling. Up until just four days ago, I hadn't even known about the history of this funeral home. I already knew that it was ridiculously old, but what I didn't know was that it allegedly harbors some kind of powerful aura which traps and torments the spirits of people who have died in a state of grief or fear, and have at some point been associated with the building in one way or another. These associations apparently include those occurring post-mortem, such as embalmings and funerals, Wow. All right. So, one of these is unlocked. What about that one? We still need another key. Oh my god. Who in the hell are you? Go away. Oh shit. Is the alarm going off? Okay. So now maybe we can go through some of these other doors we haven't been able to. So we'll go up here. We're going to see what's actually going on. What? What? Oh, are you showing me where to go then? I'm kind of hoping so. This is getting interesting. All right, so we got another note right here. Um, Mrs. Rains, please tell your son to stop playing under the tables during funeral services. It's disruptive and upsetting the grieving families. Today, he also stole one of the keys to the visitation room and was later attempting to open one of the drawers in the morgue. This type of behavior is unacceptable and will not be tolerated. If you do not start controlling him, I will take it upon myself personally to teach him a message. Michael. Don't you be hitting my kid! <laughs> That's my kid. Alright, yes, this door now opens. But where is it gonna take us? I hear like an alarm system going off and it's... I don't know if I like it yet. things even weirder. This place has a serious lockdown system. Yesterday was the first time I've ever seen it used and many of the workers, including myself, were ordered to wait in the family room until the situation was taken care what of. What situation? No one I've spoken to about I wanna know, damn it. Done, or at least they won't say. All I know is that these safety glass windows and electronic gates appear to be designed for keeping things in rather than out. Hmm. Keeping things I in? The first oh shit, this is a long one. I was the first and only person to make it to Myrtle's side before she passed away. She managed to give Sullivan a parting I love you on that baby monitor, but that was the last communication they ever had. What did they die from? The last from? thing she ever did was give me that piece of paper. It was a short poem she had written for Sullivan earlier that day. She asked me to give it to him, and I promised her I would. Then she slipped away. Jeez. Sullivan had picked up by Myrtle's weak rasping in the baby monitor that something was happening to her. Because soon after she had passed, he came running into the hall from the upstairs arrangement room. But he was too late. She was gone. That's wow, when he broke this down. story's getting really I'd deep never and seen him sad. Show so much emotion towards Myrtle before. Then, of course, the rest happened. I'll keep my promise, even now. It's all I can do for my dear friends. So what do I gotta do? Tell the guy what happened? Wait, was that the end of it? It can't be. Okay. 
So do these drawers open? No, they do not. So the shutdown is gone. But what the hell? So we're no longer going this way. Do we just leave now? To make things even weirder. Shit. Oh. No, we don't need that no more. We've already read that. Alright, so the lockdown is good, and I think this guy is being cursed kind of from all the serious trauma he's had in this house, and that releases demons into it or something of the sort. But holy crap, this is awesome! I've seen around this place. For instance, the fireplace that isn't even a real fireplace. It's some kind of ladder shaft, but there's a tough metal grate fastened over it that appears to be controlled electronically, most likely by the lockdown system. I'm assuming the shaft leads down to the basement, but it must have been sealed off because it's not accessible from anywhere down there. Another thing I've started wondering about is a metal handle that's been sitting on Michael's desk for about a month now. I asked about it once out of curiosity, but he avoided giving me a direct answer. He told me it broke off of something. I had already assumed this, seeing as it's covered in dirt and rusted around the Maybe edges it was like an artifact from one of the ghosts something or something. For a very long time. That's all I can think. Perhaps the biggest mystery I've encountered here is the place Myrtle always went for privacy. She was often depressed, so she was always going into the downstairs hall on her way to wherever it was she went to be alone. However, she seemed to vanish. The only place she could have gone from that hallway is down into the basement, but I went down there one day to ask her something and I couldn't find her. I'm wondering if there's a secret room somewhere down there. After all, I did learn from Michael that this building is from the 1600s, long before it was ever a funeral home. Buildings as old as this one sometimes have quite a few secret areas. Alright, so this is getting really interesting. They just added a whole lot more to it. Alright, so we're gonna go this way. See if. Hello? Don't laugh at me, lady. Okay, is this a new they note? still haven't buried them. Sullivan has been lying in his coffin now for two days and Myrtle for three. Because Conrad refused to touch Myrtle's coffin after her funeral, it had to be put aside so Sullivan could have his. Conrad still simply doesn't want to have anything to do with the burial of either of them, even if all he's doing is preparing a future grave without actually touching the coffins. I'm starting to wonder if he had some type of unpleasant encounter with Myrtle and Sullivan's coffins, or he heard some absurd rumor about their corpses. No, I think he What's knows about the curse that here that if you suffer through trauma or dying here, then something bad happens. About their Come back. To actually do That's something what I'm thinking. This. Michael was embarrassed to have to tell all the relatives and friends that the actual burials couldn't be held yet. Even so, none of them objected. Maybe they just didn't see a point in doing so, considering the person they would be doing it for is already gone. I don't know. As far Holy as shit. feeling there's a lot of story in this, and I'm loving it. I do get a strange vibe now in the visitation room. The atmosphere in there is starting to feel different. The air feels heavier, a little bit oppressive even. It seems to be more noticeable today than it was yesterday. I'm not quite sure if I believe in ghosts or not, but it seems to fit what I've heard before about locations having uncomfortable negative energy due to evil or extremely upset spirits. Maybe it's just normal stuffy air. There aren't any windows in there and it is the middle of summer. No, something is going on in this room, man. Something terrible is happening in this little morgue. Like, for real, how can you just ignore all this? Okay, so I can actually go back in this room now? Okay, that's that's interesting, even though it doesn't have Jack in it. <laughs> Alright, so this door is warped. We cannot go there. So, wedge door. Wedge door? <laughs> Alright, so come down here. Oh, there's another note. Yes! Turns out that Devin got into the morgue by stealing Sullivan's key card from the office. Mrs. Rains had been in there and forgot to lock it when she left. Nobody knows exactly how the kid figured out the passcode, but considering what a flake his mother is, that's probably just something else she inadvertently compromised. They're burying Sullivan with a few of his belongings from the funeral home. I guess because he had worked here for so long and was so loyal to his job. Michael revealed that one of those belongings is Sullivan's keycard. Of course, they would need to deactivate it from the system to avoid any breaches in the chance that it was stolen, 
but then again, Mrs. Raines would be the one who would do that. I discovered earlier today that Devon had stolen the system lock override key as well and hidden it somewhere in the building. This has got to be the most troublesome, ill-behaved kid I have ever encountered. Stolen the system cup and hidden it somewhere in the building. Oh my god, little kids are terrible. <laughs> he is really screwing over us or screwing us over with this. Alright, so maybe maybe that's also in the chest. Of course we're not gonna get too lucky though, but there is another note, and it is in the chest, so that's something. I mean right? I mean right, if we can even click it. Which I don't think that we can. It's not letting us. Come on. Fine, alright, so it's not gonna let us click that note, and I have no idea why. But is there one over here? Oh, there's something on here. Alright, um, grief-stricken man killed by train after blinding himself. They never buried either of them. Both are still here. Solvin, Myrtle as children. They look like Barbie dolls. <laughs> um... Creepy. Holy crap, it really started raining just now. Um, there's something written on the back. They say that if you take this ro er, take his rose, he wakes up. That's the only way his coffin will open. I heard that he also tears you into three pieces if he catches you. What kind of note is that? And who is it? No, something's under the table. Oh, God. Oh! It was just a little kid. They won't, they won't find it. Ever! And yes, I will! There's a key on the table. Room, uh, room two. Okay, so, can I click this little note? Can I duck or anything? Please? Oh, wait, we already read that. Alright, so room two. Man, screw that little kid! Why? <laughs> he can't just jump at us like that. What? All those attending the funeral service for Sullivan James, please gather in the visitation room. No, I do not want to do that. <laughs> not at all. Okay, so let's quick go see where this key actually takes us sort of fast. I believe it's probably this. Is it? Is it? Uh, oh, there's a security room. It also looks like it requires a key. Okay, so maybe it goes over here. Oh, Jesus, that scared me. What in the hell is going on? Have we read this? Alright, so it's another key, and it sh it's showing a desk, I think. No way, we got it both off, finally! Okay, so here's the visitation room. But what's in here? And what do they need from us? I don't want to take this. Dare you, dare you, double, double, dare you! I don't want to take your blue rose, man. You'll kill me. It said right in the other thing. Fine, I'll do it. I'll take the dab, rose. Here we go. Um... There's a black origami rose lying on top of the coffin. Should we take it? Yes. We're going to take it. It's mine now. <laughs> um, what do we... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. They are pissed off. I'm sorry. I didn't want to take the rose. Whoa. Graphics just got a boost. Look at this. Man, it's beautiful. And I'm loving the music. Sullivan so James was blind as a bat. Was he? Sullivan James fell down flat. Oh my god, they even got Sullivan a blind James for his death. This is intense. Is withered and Go! Blue. I know he's withered and blue. Sullivan James What the is hell? For you. No! No! Sullivan James, you bastard! Holy shit! Oh my god, leave me alone. Go, 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 go! Where am I heading off to? Solomon James, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Oh no 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 Go go go! Open the door! No! 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 Ah! Fuck! That was terrible! Jesus! Oh! Thank you guys so much for playing this game with me. I don't know if that was the ending. I'm pretty damn sure it was. If it wasn't, I will go back and play it. So let me know down in the comments. But yeah, that was a really, really good one. That ending was just so creepy, that thing. It just wouldn't stop. <laughs> but like always from Michigan, it is super stormy here. So I'm going to record a few more videos for you guys. But stay tuned for like always. And have yourself a wonderful day. Okay.
Whoa, why are the rocks lifting up? Okay, what in the hell? What is that? 